I have gathered everyone here today to make an important announcement. Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project! So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. <sighs> the Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. You may ask me anything, and I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. These things won't be easy to get hold of, but if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liuette Harbor's development plan for next year... Then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plush strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but, um, I have some business to do. Oh, no. We better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is a huge deal! Let's get involved! So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Really? Ooh, then Paimon will ask you about how to run a business! Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again! <laughs> of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have collected the materials, please, take them there. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please, seek out my secretary. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. Ningguang seems super busy. Come on, we better get going. First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Look, it seems like there's something kind of fishy going on over there. Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily gonna win this procurement contest Lady Dingguang has set up. As it happens, 
We have some information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private, and we can get down to brass tacks. No, I don't need it. Ah, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go! Why don't you stand there after her? Oh, right, yeah. Did you hear that? They said they had some useful information! Information's just what we need right now! Let's follow them and see what we can find out! <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over, and nobody getting hurt. I won't... No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. Then Shin Yue Kiosk, then Wan Min Restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you, something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. The Millilith? W w what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? <clears throat> you ought to mind your own business, I swear! Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please, let me explain. <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is... well, Paimon! And this is Paimon's travel buddy! Oh, I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. <sighs> you can't do that! That's way too violent! This is Lila Harbor! Laws against that kind of stuff, you know? Laws? <sighs> no. Apparently not. Really? So, how exactly have you... <sighs> 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 
That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry! So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Hmm, Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are my usuals. Hmm, medicinal herbs? Kinda hard to explain. Hmm. Anyway, Booba Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a big medicinal meal. After all, you can't work on an empty stomach. Psst. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? Seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things work here. If she is an adeptus, that would explain everything. Where does she fit in with the other adepti, though? Hmm. I'm super curious. Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingson, Glaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. She's really eating them! Oh. <sighs> My hunger has now abated. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. Rather awful. <sighs> Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food and eat it all in one go! Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains. That proves it. Paimon knew she was an adeptus. Mm, enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, right. Paimon almost forgot. We came out to take part in the Rebuild the Jade Chamber competition. And, and now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when I was passing by. <laughs> yep! You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win! Were you interested in the contest too, Shenha? Hmm. I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Wow! You really don't have to. But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Mm, I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the victors. Vito! That is not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Really? But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? <sighs> Sunset Vermilion Knight, Wonder Course, and Adepti Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for Plastrite... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. 
So, it's you. Bye, Hugh. What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Huh? How come Lady Ningguang needs so much wound dressing all of a sudden? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customer's personal affairs. Oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by any chance? No, no. We've got other stuff to do. Um, while you're here, though, you seem to know a lot. Have you ever heard of something called Sunset Vermilion Night? Ah, the variety of Plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very rare indeed. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more about this than I do. Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Thanks, Baiju! You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Feel free to look around. There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Liyue volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. Huh? But the Mondstadt volume was so interesting. Bummer. The thing is, the author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. It barely sold any copies, and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. But who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingse Village. He's a complete grouch, but he will behave himself if the conversation is about books. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor, and I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Apologies, my liege. Where are my manners? My name is Sing Cho. A humble literature enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to Chang the Ninth? Just take it as a chance to get some respite from the hustle and bustle of Liyue Harbor. We all need that once in a while. Thank <laughs> you. 
Heavens are smiting me. Smiting me to smithereens. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Leo e volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them. And now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. <sighs> it's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? That work was an epic defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published, but over time it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print, almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right, how did I forget? The original edition's sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. You mean, you mean you still have it? Yes. It is my one and only remaining treasure. Hey, Chang. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Oh, you again? But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books, or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. <sighs> you... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> Oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? 
Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing that book? Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please, just take this book and leave me in peace. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, vow to repay this great act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but... I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Gufwa disciple. Hey! Where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here! Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The Guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Xingqiu! Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the Guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Xingqiu. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Xingqiu, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. As well? Do you mean... The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one piece. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction, and a lot of interested parties have already come to us inquiring about the price. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million mora. 500 million?! Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated. And it's just not worth it. But... without any Sunset Vermilionite... Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard of Seagazer? Who? Huh. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper. But if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of drifting clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilionite. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross-referencing them against each other, 
I'm now fairly certain that it is situated in the Leisha area. That's great! Um, but is it really okay for us to just go and take his treasure? Wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful with him being an adeptus? <laughs> you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then, let's go. Hmm... There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Plus, it's likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. So please, be very careful. Okay, we will be. Thanks, Xingqiu. place was hidden using a special Adepti art, but now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new Celia over there? I will protect you. Uh, what? Weren't we at a waterfall just now? How did we suddenly end up here? Oh, so many clouds. It feels like we're high up in the sky. Hmm. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With any luck, the sunset for Millionite we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see! Huh? Isn't that the Sealy from before? Look, it's gone and snuck beneath the clouds! And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete! Oh, could there be something below the clouds? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an Adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adepti art. All right, then let's do it! I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful.
Unleash! Manifest! Appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Do your master's bidding! I must leave no stone unturned. True form! The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. like we need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Go, go, Baron Bunny! Freeze! Unleash! Your luck. Cool it. This one will be frozen. Uh. No one escapes my sight. Free. Cool it. Unleash. My will embodied. Freeze! I must leave no stone unturned. 
your master's bidding. Don't get frostbite. Cool it. Otherwise, that could have ended very differently. <laughs> 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 